Sealand Park has so many world-class slides on offer and I can't wait to take you aboard with me and I'm going to get around now and get straight on those slides and take you with me in 4K. <laughs> First slide of the day is going to be safer, the park's newest water coaster. Here we go, I'm safer. Oh, got an absolute bucket. Oh, it's oh, a wet one, this one. Here we go. Woo! Oh. Seven walk years, water down everywhere. Here we go. Hey! Woo! Get back on there. Woo! Here we go. Whoa! And there we go, Safer. Great water slide. What a fantastic addition Safer is to Siam Park. Now I'm going to give you a PIV facing me. See you up there. And we go down. Just had a fantastic ride on sofa, the park's newest water coaster, and that was absolutely fantastic. There's water going everywhere. I've provided you an on-ride POV of the front and the back, and I really enjoyed that. It's one of my favourite slides in the park. Second slide of the day then is gonna be Kinnery. This is another fantastic water slide and I will see you on there. There we go, second slide of the day, Kinnery. There we go, Kinnery. Going backwards now. Here we go. Hey! Woo! Woo! Not bad there. Here we go, going backwards again. Here we go, big jump. Whoa! Did he come off my seat there? Oh. Yeah, holding on with one hand there because I'm holding my phone absolutely crazy. Coming right out of my seat. Kinnery, everybody. Come right out of my seat there on Kinnery. I've got great airtime on there. Obviously, I was sitting backwards. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I've never used the phone to record on any water slides or rides before, uh, so it's all new to me. And obviously, if you're going backwards on those slides, having to hold on with one hand and trying to obviously hold the phone, get some decent footage, it's really tricky. Now, the only slide I can't record on today is this behind me, and for obvious reasons, can't record on it. Next slide is going to be Volcano. Can't wait to get on this. <laughs> Now Volcano is a very dark water slide so I'm only going to show you the indoor section here where it's lit up for you. So I'll see you in there and provide a little bit of on-road footage for you. Or on slide footage. And here we go Volcano, you've got all the lights in here, you can see it's very dark in here. So I'll only put a little bit of footage in for you. Going around now into the drop. Probably might go backwards. And here we go. Loads of water on the Volcano. And that was a volcano, very dark slide. <laughs> Boa and Viper are the only two in operation today. See you on Boa, and then I'm going to get on Viper. <laughs> and here we go. If I can move that in. 
And here we go, not sure how much this is going to pick up, it's really dark this water slide, very fast pace, here we go, a bit of air time, oh I'm getting slowed around everywhere right now, yeah you can't literally see anything on here, coming out of the tube, here we go, Woo. yeah not too bad at all. Now I'm not even going to take you on the other slide because that's in the dark too and I don't want to bore you too much, what you do want is those two slides there because obviously they're out in the open, you've got lots of light to show you and you'd be able to see a lot, yeah I don't want to put too much dark footage in there for you. Moving on to something else now. Now if you haven't visited Tian Park before, the waves in here are every 40 minutes. Everyone waits in here and then every minute or every couple of minutes you get the waves coming out. And here we go straight into the massive wave pool, the wave coming towards you. Oh here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's not as busy as normal here today because obviously it's the off season and the waves come in right now. Here we go. Now the kids usually sit back here. Obviously, the wave dies out the further you go back. Now, if you don't want to be dunked under in here, the best thing to do is to head towards the front, jump the wave, and then you won't have that problem at all. Here we go on the giant, I like to call this sun spot the ride because you come out of here and it's a sun trap usually, well in the warmer months anyway there's not a lot of sun at the moment because we're out of season here in Tenerife and obviously it's one of these bowl slides you just go round and round and then you either obviously finish backwards or forwards There we go, backwards. So I'm spot the ride, or the slide, whatever you want to call it. Down for another slide. Oh, literally, just hit the post there. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm going to go backwards. Backwards again. Woo! Flip there. <laughs> Some footage there of me being on the giant, yeah. Um, the second slide on there, it actually flipped because I wasn't holding on, and that's what happens when you don't hold on. I'm gonna get over to another fantastic slide now, and that's gonna be Singer. See you over there. Now, if you're not a massive fan of water slides, then don't come to see Sam Park because loads of these water rides are really extreme. Looking forward to getting back on Tina. It's a fantastic slide, it really is. Not just saying it, one of my favourites in the park. Here we go, let's see that. Fast post slide, here we go. Woo! Oh, what a guy, that's really everywhere. Again. One handed. Oh, let's see that. Woo! Here we go. Woo! Oh, it's gone dark. And here we go, splash bam coming out. Whoa. Singer, singer, singer. Singer's always been one of my favourites at the park and it's not hard to see why. It's packed with lots of water, you get lots of water splashing your face. And yeah, it just keeps going on and on and on. Now you're probably thinking why did my POV come out like that? Well the truth is at the start of the day um, I was told that I couldn't use my wrist strap GoPro, I didn't really want to use the chest harness so what I did is I bought a case for my phone um, I've never heard of obviously a water park or a theme park you can't really use your phone on the rides can you but I thought I'd try it out and there's an annoying strap on the actual case I'll show you it now, here it is here um, obviously if you don't hold it a certain way the keeps flapping around everywhere and I'm not going to go back around filming another POV because it's absolutely hilarious really 
Um, but yeah, it kept, it kept whacking me in the face around there. But yeah, it is what it is. And that's why theme parks and most water parks around the world don't let you record with phones. Anyway, enough with the flapping around. I'm actually getting over to the Dragon now. Can't wait for that. I was thinking, first of all, should I go around and do the POV again? Because probably the worst ever POV I've ever seen, but I thought, no, why not? Just keep it. The time has come for the dragon. Nearly wet my head there. Um, yeah, um, I've got to obviously go one-handed on this. I mean, I find it a little bit crazy, really. Um, going on some of these water slides like this, they're really intense, obviously some of the most intense in the world. Um, I've got to go one-handed on this while I film you a POV. Um, I mean, I could put the chest harness on GoPro if I wanted to. I just don't really want to go round for the chest harness on in a water park, really. It's a bit like, you know, it doesn't look great or anything like that. So, obviously, I don't want to be walking around with that all day on either. So, anyway, I'll put some footage in for you now. Can't see how this is going to go. You'll see, won't you? So, see you on there. Straight in on the dragon and is the drop! Whee! Straight down on the dragon. There we go. Yeah, it was a little bit stark at the start there, so I didn't want to start it there because it's pitch black. There we go. Whee! Whoa! And that was the dragon. And here we go, it's that time of the day for the Lazy River. Now if you come later in the day, you can just relax on here. There's not too many people around. There's a few people behind me, but earlier on in the day, it's a lot more busier. Absolutely stunning here at Siam Park. You can see you've got all of the planting around, all of the palm trees, and you've got all of the bubbles coming up here. Oh, went right under me. Now there are a few splash features here where you can get absolutely soaked such as this waterfall just over here and let's see if they get it. They're turning into it slightly so they might get absolutely drenched here. Yeah the girl got it a little bit but she got away with it. Will I get wet? Let's have a look. Oh I'm not steering so I'm not so sure. No I've got away with it too. Yeah just make sure you move to the right if you don't want to get soaked. Yeah that was a close call though. Now when you get to this point, you can either go on the slide or you can exit, I'm going on the slide. So obviously come to the left. If you haven't been to Siam Park before, you should know that once you come out that lazy river and you go to go on a slide, you come on a conveyor belt, which takes you backwards. You can see I'm going backwards up here and that transports you to the next section and then it's the slide after that. And here we are in the next section. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of water flow up here. So usually I tend to get out of the rubber ring and walk down to the slide. Um, several people stay in their boats, but it does take quite a while. And here is the slide, just outside of the laser river. Here we go. Just about to go down now. And here we go, straight into it. Just like that. Oh, get a bit of air time on there. It's a fast place slide to be fair. Yeah, you've got all the palm trees around here. This one's quite a good bit. Whee! Bit of air time there. And again. And you've got a little viewing platform up there. And straight in to the tank where there's lots of fish. You can't really see any up there. They're actually just in the distance, just over there. I always enjoy that slide. I'm going to get back down and show a couple of the face at me. So I'll see you up there. And here we go again, going up for that other POV for you. See you over there. Here we go, front facing POV coming up. Choppy waters, not even holding on at all. Just holding my phone here. Absolutely crazy. Let's see what airtime I get on here. It's going a bit slow at the moment, actually. Here we go, first deal. It's going to be a choppy one. Whee! No hands on the assist. Crazy on the. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. It's getting a bit more of that. Oh. Yeah, you don't really see the lazy river this dead normally. Obviously, if you come here towards the end of the day, it's this quiet. We can just sit in there, have a little relax. Or if you want to go on the side, you can do that as well. But yeah, look, just me in here. Just me in here, sorry. And there we go. Let's get around the park though and see if I can get another slide. Okay, let's go 
Now I went on one of those earlier, obviously late, it's later on in the day now and these two are open, obviously it's staggered openings because it's not peak season, can't wait to get on there. And here we go, straight in on Python. Woo! Whee! Yeah, there's a few light moments in this one. And here we go, splash down. Well, it's one light moment. And there we go, that was Python. Great man, see you And here we go, I've got my rubber ring going on Cobra. This is the last slide of the day. Only 10 minutes left until the park closes, so this will be the last one. See you up there. Last slide of the day, then here we go. It's a little bit darker to start again. See what we get. Whoa, it's a little bit uh, forceful in there. And here we go, it's flushed out. Just had my slide on Cobra and you can see my phone got knocked and it stopped the POV. That's the second time I've had problems today. Obviously you got there lap just over here and then obviously knocking it as well yeah you don't really get those problems on a GoPro as I was saying because if you put it on a chest harness it's nice and safe if you've got it on the wrist it's nice and safe too and um, yeah it's the first ever time I've tried something using a phone really going on these water slides like this because you, you get problems from time to time like that and um, it's nice and easy for me recording on the phone don't get me wrong nice and easy not having to transfer from my phone to GoPro or anything like that um, but yeah, you get problems from time to time. Right, it's the end of the day. There's not many people around now, so I'm going to show you this. This is the kids' area of the park. There's lots of splash zones in here, lots of slides for the little ones. And I'm going to take you around now for a quick tour. And here we go, you've got a little splash down bit here. I'm going to move my phone just to the side. Oh, I've got absolutely soaked there. Yeah, all around me, there's lots of places where you can get splashed and absolutely soaked. And the good thing about it is right now, there's not many kids in here or anything, so I can just have a walk around and show you what's in there. Yeah, this is a really nice area from the Siam Park. Now just on a quick note when you come to Siam Park, if you want to film on all of the slides, whether it be the laser rivers, the slides, apart from the Para Tower, uh, you can put your phone in one of these waterproof cases, um, so obviously your phone doesn't get damaged, you just have to make sure obviously you hold your phone. Um, some of these slides are very, uh, very exhilarating and ferocious, um, so yeah, you just got to make sure you hold your phone and don't drop it, otherwise, goodbye phone really. I find it very strange because... Obviously, you go around uh, all of the other water parks and theme parks and things like that, and you can't hold your phone on rides. I mean, it's a bit... It's crazy. She wouldn't let me wear my uh, wrist strap with a GoPro. She said, um, it's either chest harness or on your head. I've got the chest harness. I, don't, I just don't really want to walk around with a chest harness, to be honest, in Siam Park. It's not really relaxing, is it? Especially if I can get this. Six euros 90, as I was saying. It was either 6.90 or 7.90. I think it was 6 euros 90. Um, and, yeah, it's a bargain. As I said, I've got an S23 Ultra. So, obviously, on the sound quality on the phone against the GoPro as well should also be a bit better for you. Well, anyway, if you're watching this clip now, I've already been on the water slides because I'm actually putting this footage in afterwards. And this is what you get at the end of the day at CM Park. Right, I'm going to get changed now into some warmer clothes. And that was my day at CM Park. What was my best slide here today? It was Cypher, or Cypher, Cypher, I'm not sure how you say it, but that's easily the best water slide here now. Yeah, Cypher is easily the best water slide in the park in my opinion. Before it was Singer, the Dragon, it's definitely Cypher now. I've had a great day here today. I've shown you some POVs, lots of POVs. A couple of them went wrong uh, towards the end. Obviously you got the flapping around. I keep saying that, I mean, that was hilarious. I wasn't gonna take that out and put another scene in. And I also didn't do the vlog completely how I would have done it in the past. I would have put a lot more information in. And the reason why I didn't do that is because I'm doing lots more CM, Car CM Park content in the future. I was going to say, oh yeah, literally getting my words mixed up there. Lots more CM Park content in the future. So I thought I'm going to put that in on the other vlogs for you. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Also, drop me a comment. What's your favourite slide at CM Park? Well, you already know what mine is anyway. Leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you in the next theme parks and attractions video. See you later. And just like that, here's my bus. Free bus to wherever you're staying. I'll tell you what, some of these branches are cutting it close on the bus. Just over here. Some funny moments.
and just on the way back if you ever come to Tenerife make sure you check out the beer garden just over there they do fantastic cocktails see you later at CM Park well it's already gone CM Park in a completely different area see you soon oh here we go just stopped in traffic look at that view up there it's absolutely stunning 